everybody, it's me, Brittany B. And today I'm back for another All American Review, Season 2, Episode 3, and there was a lot of juice in this episode. Disclaimer, if you haven't watched any of my other reviews, I just talk about what I thought was interesting as I go through a step-by-step -step play of every character. Just the ones that stood out and the things that were interesting because I mean really who wants to like talk about every single thing that happened. But anyways, the biggest bomb of the ninth episode, let me just say, was like the last 10 seconds when Spencer looked down at Layla's wrist and it looked like she was cutting herself. So yeah. I was like, oh my god, like I you knew she was going through a depression, but you I didn't know it was at the point of self-harm. Because throughout the episode you were seeing that I think she was just buying stuff just to buy it, but now I realized that the bracelet she was wearing, the really nice lip bracelet that she said that she just got because, you know, why not spend the money she has? It was covering up her scars on her wrist. And this whole episode she was like a little reckless. Like when Coop was doing her battle round, she put in two thousand dollars. No, $1,500 plus a recording session with her daddy. Like, she's just being straight up reckless. So, her character is getting just crazier throughout the episode. And I feel like it's just be a good journey. I know now Spencer knows some things up. And then, like, looking into what's happening next week in the previews, it looks like he told um, Olivia, which that's who I want him to tell. Because, like, you know, I feel like she'll help and know how to deal with it. The next big thing was Spencer was giving his dad the ultimatum of, um, if you want me to play for you, then Darnell has to go. Who was like, well, you know, that's still like his daddy. He was like, he's not his dad. And she was like, yeah, but don't you think that Coach Bill is like a family to you too? Like, and what's he to go home to? So then it had him thinking. So then when he talked to Jordan and he was like, you know, I'm sorry for just like blowing up your life like that. Because, you know, I guess he didn't think about like he was... Darnell, you know, and so then, um, the dad said that, yeah, his Darnell's mother basically loved the military more than he loved him. So then, I think, kind of like, got Spencer, like, man, this is like above me, this has nothing to do with him, it really has something to do just with me and my dad, and he's just there. So, Spencer told him that he should stay because Darnell decided, like, even with the daddy picking, he just said that he didn't want to really cause a rift because it was not what he came here for and he was going to leave. So, Spencer told him to stay and I thought it was so cool. And Spencer decided to stay with Beverly, which makes perfectly sense because I thought it was pretty cool. My biggest question is, is Spencer staying at Beverly or he's staying going to be, um, is Spencer staying at Beverly or he's going to go back to Crenshaw and he's had to go stay at Beverly, which made perfectly sense because he said that he just wants his dad to be a dad and or to do that, he can't be his coach too because he sees what's happening with Coach Billy and Jordan and it's like not good. So he was like, I just want you to be my dad. You know, like I'm going to be good over there at Beverly. I just want you to be my dad. It was such a touching moment. You just been cooped. I was like, hey, Coop is really doing it good. She took down that bully, and then she was like, let's go, to, you know, do some battles. And she was winning the battle. I knew it was doing, I knew it was too good to be true. And Lil Fizz was just. Okay, so I'm a little, I'm a little Fizz fan, but for this character, I was not for him. Mm -mm. Just did Coop wrong. I felt, I mean, I guess because, you know, the money got big, the stakes got high, like, he went to blows. But he was doing such low blows for Coop. And I was like, that is just not cool. You know, and it kind of, like, threw her completely off. Because she was on a roll. Next thing you know, he was just talking about his girlfriend failing, blamed him from Sean's death. That was just, that was dark. And she kind of froze up and lost that battle. But, you know, it was her first battle. She'll do good. She'll do more. And she was ready to do that um let's see what else was interesting oh Layla no not Layla um Olivia she found out I thought that was really interesting with the episode how she discovered she didn't know who she was she felt like she was always paired to people and I think that's something that you know people in high school sometimes you really don't know who you are and the fact that her going to the Italian made her realize who she was, like, not know, uh, may realize that she didn't know who she was. I think that's going to be a good way for her to grow. And her character is going to probably, you know, shake it up a bit. Um, anything else that was, like, boom, interest? I, an honorable mention would be 
Coach Billy putting in Cliff the lead booster in his plays by saying, hey, I run this. I know that you're just a bunch of money. That's where you get the checks. But you just because you do checks doesn't mean you have any say in the football, you know, part. And you need to just chill out. He's having his plays. I was like, boom. Uh, any more honorable mentions? Oh, yeah. Coach Billy. Um, Jordan finally realized that he was being more of a distraction than he was a teammate at this point and Asher put him in his place and Spencer kind of sort of just agreed without even realizing what was going on in the head because he was like am I being a distraction he was like 100% but I didn't understand so he was like oh oh and that was really why he wasn't mad that he wasn't captain because he realized like man I really was just acting the fool that was the episode. It was super good. It was super juicy. There was a lot of characters that had good things, so I got to talk about more characters. Um, some of the minor characters, some of the characters didn't have like that big of a storyline this episode, so nothing to really chat about. But please tell me what you thought was interesting in the show. Um, and let's chat and talk. Thanks for watching. See you next week.